I heard that it's Mary Beth Shaw's birthday and it's also the 10 year anniversary of Stencil Girl products. And so I thought that calls for a celebration. So I'm going to make a mixed media cake. I'm Jennifer Evans with Periwinkle Art Studio and I have pulled some of my designs of the mid-century modern line of stencils that I designed for Stencil Girl products and the first thing that I'm going to do is create a background on my substrate. I'm using a 9 by 12 sheet of watercolor paper and I feel like a background for a cake maybe should be a fun light blue. So I'm going to saturate the paper and get it going with the pigment. Turquoise is one of my favorite colors so when we're making a celebration cake I feel like you got to use your favorites. And this is going to be a very subtle background, so I'm just going to lay down the mid-century stencils over the wet pigment. The pigment is going to be drawn to the openings in the stencils. I've saturated the paper and I'm allowing the pigment to kind of do its thing and I need something in this area over here. So I'm just going to finish off the lower right hand corner, maybe just for good measure, swipe some additional color through the top here, these geometric designs. And then I'm going to set this aside to dry completely before I remove the stencils. Next I've pulled out a variety of different types of paper that I'm going to stencil on. I have um, some music, a sheet from a vintage book, just some different things that I can layer on some color and I pulled a whole variety of different stencils that I'm going to be working with and of course a celebratory color palette. So I'm going to get to work here layering some fun colors to make the layers of the cake. Now that I've got my different sheets of paper collaged with all these celebratory colors, I can cut them into layers of the cake. So let's see how the background did. This was the watercolor background that I let have some drying time and I'm pulling the stencils off so that I can reveal the background and I've got a very subtle uh, pattern in the background and I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and start assembling the layers of my cake. Now, this is going to be a very tall cake with four layers which I'm going to tack down using some matte gel. I'm going to get those in place next. What do we need next? Well, of course we need some candles. Out of my scraps that I cut, I'm going to make, we'll see if we can fit 10 of them on there. Uh, but I could always paint in the flame and then I'm gonna add a pedestal for the cake. I did it, I got 10 candles, so I'm gonna go ahead and tack those down next. I'm going to put these kind of haphazard because some of them are going to be sitting on top of the cake, some of them are going to be overlapping the cake. 
kind of like they're just having their own party. Because <laughs> this is a celebration. I'm going to go ahead and create a cake pedestal here using a Neo Color, which is a water soluble crayon. And I can make this look a little bit less like a crayon if I just take a um, brush with water and pull the color around so it's going to have more of a watercolor effect than the crayon look. Although I do like leaving some of that roughness as part of the design. I do like the contrast of that, but there's there's my pedestal. Of course, the celebration begins when you light the candles, so I'm going to try to see if these ink tense pencils are going to create a flame up here. And it's going to be a little bit hard to see over that background, which is why I'm dipping the ink tense pencil in the water to see if I can get the pigment to move around a little bit. I also have an orange one, so yeah, if that helps create a little bit of the flame. Now I have a soft lead, this is a 3B lead pencil, and I'm just going to put a few little details here and there. I don't want a lot of black outline on this because I don't want anything to look harsh, but I do want just a little bit of definition here and there. And I might even come in with a white paint pen and add a few little highlights and accents every once in a while. Of course, when we're working with mixed media, I can grab all kinds of materials if I wanted to incorporate lace, doilies, lots of texture, actual texture, but I feel like there's a lot of visual texture going on with the layers of the stencils. So aside from just a few finishing touches, I think that the cake is just about ready for the celebration.